Imagine a seizure that doesn't stop. A medical emergency where every second counts. That's status epilepticus. And it can be life-threatening if not treated fast. In this video, I'll take you through the life-saving steps you must know. Whether you're a medical professional or just curious about how emergencies like this are handled, stick around to learn how we can stop seizures in their tracks and save lives. When we are dealing with status epilepticus, it is essential to quickly assess the ABCs – airway, breathing and circulation. Right after that, identify the type of seizure. Is it convulsive, non-convulsive or refractory? This will guide your next steps. Don't forget to check lab values, especially glucose, electrolytes and renal function. Consider potential causes like infection, trauma, stroke, or missed medications. Now we get into treatment mode. For first-line treatment, benzodiazepines are your go-to. You can administer either lorazepam at 0.1 mg per kg with a maximum of 4 mg via IV or midazolam at 0.2 mg per kg with a maximum of 10 mg via IV. If it is a convulsive seizure, you might also use rectal diazepam 20 mg or intranasal midazolam at 5 to 10 mg. If the seizures don't stop, you need to move to second line agents. Here, you can go for phenytoin 20 mg per kg IV up to a maximum of 1500 mg or phosphenytoin 20 mg per kg IV also at a maximum of 1500 mg. Alternatively, you have other options like valproate at 20 to 40 mg per kg IV with a maximum at 3000 mg or leviteracetam at 20 to 30 mg per kg IV also with a maximum dosage of 3000 mg. Still no control? It's time for third line treatment. Consider administering phenobarbital at 10 to 20 mg per kg IV at a maximum dosage of 2000 mg or pentobarbital at the same dosage of 10 to 20 mg per kg IV also with a maximum of 2000 mg. At this stage, if the seizures are refractory, you may need to anesthetize the patient with a propofol or midazolam infusion. Some clinicians might also consider using ketamine or isoflurane. The patient should be transferred to the ICU where continuous EEG monitoring is crucial to track the brain activity. You might also need to consider more invasive interventions such as surgical options like resection, immunotherapy like steroids or even experimental treatments like cannabidiol. Once you've achieved seizure control, it is important to gradually taper off the medications after 24 to 48 hours of seizure freedom. But keep a close eye. Monitor for any signs of seizure recurrence. And that's the step-by-step -step approach to managing status epilepticus. Quick identification and proper treatment can make a huge difference in outcomes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more medical insights. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.